Hello, Swaros. Today is Lush Halloween. I only actually got three Halloween items this year. I really, really wanted to get cinders in the little gift set, but it wasn't at the closest store to me and I wasn't in the mood to buy it online. And then I found out that it will be released in a bigger version for Christmas, so I'm just gonna wait until Christmas so I can get myself a bunch of big ones because I know I'm gonna love it because I love cinders the bath bomb and yeah this is gonna be awesome so I will be patient I didn't get many of the other items because I've already gotten them before and like I said last year if you would like to see those demos I will pop some videos up above sporadically throughout this video so you can see those as well now this is not a Halloween item however it is super black and it is new so let's do it scrub 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 shower scrub how many scrubs could a scrub scrubber scrub if a scrubber could scrub a dub scrub find out by cracking open the pot of dark crystals and polishing skin with fine sea salt and powdered charcoal it's also infused with toning rosemary grounding pine and refreshing Buchu oils. Dare to dwell beneath the surface into a black hole of uncertainty with blackberry and lime purees. Take the risk and be surprised by the magical transformation taking place. It's time to experience the power of the shower. This is super scrubby, obviously since I've just said the word scrubby 13 times. It's not scrubby to the point of damaging your skin or leaving scratch marks. This is not ocean salt. But it is freaking messy in the shower. You are flinging black all over the place. The scent is a mix between the comforter, but not like gross and chemically sweet, and Sultana. You do definitely smell black currant though. It just looks so freakishly, ugh. Kinda reminds me of the aliens from Attack the Block, which is one of my favorite movies. Next up is the Eyeball Bath Bomb. I spy, with my little eye, a gentle rose and orange soak. Feast your eyes on this floral fizzer filled with ylang ylang and lavender oils and it's peachy water. It may look a bit scary, but once you roll your eyeball into the bath, you'll discover it's actually a real softy. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Orange and rose seemed a bit like an odd couple to me, but it wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like my new favorite or anything, but it was okay. The color was more of a pink lemonade, so not so much peachy, but they are handmade, so maybe someone went a little crazy on the red dye, and I was actually surprised that it changed the bath water to begin with. I was expecting something along the lines of Sakura's transparent waters. Next up is the Ectoplasm Shower Scream. When you're feeling a bit disembodied and need to return to the land of the living, get in the shower with this luminous shower gel. Benevolent lathers of conditioning almond oil and reviving Litsia Cubiba help you back to your corporeal self while tangerine and grapefruit oils ensure you're in high spirits for the rest of the night and day. The lingering fragrance will make sure you smell alive even after a good exercise session as refreshing, cleansing, and skin brightening grapefruit and tangerine juices enable you to slip back into the physical world. I've noticed the last few years that the shower creams Lush released are getting thicker and thicker to the point where they don't even come out of the bottle sometimes. Ectoplasm isn't that thick, but it does have a hard time lathering. It's got kind of a gel texture, not shower gel, but like gelatin. So keep that in mind when you pour some out. Don't go too overboard thinking you can't get all sudsy. It does work to get you clean. Last up is Ghost in the Dark Soap. Ghoulish lemongrass and hair-raising bergamot oils ooze from these luminous lathers, helping you keep your ghoul. If you've got it, haunt it. No need to worry about losing this bar either. It glows in the dark. 
scare away dirt, oil, and dryness with one multitasking bar. Beware the things that go bump in the night. Charge up in the light to chase away the monsters at night. I know I've said that I'm bored of citrus scents, but this is on a whole other playing field. It smells just like fruity pebbles to me. Or pff, any other super fruity cereal. It's supposed to be the same scent as Avo Bath, but I remember hating Avo Bath. Boring and left no scent. This is nothing like my Avo Bath experience. And what really surprised me about this soap is how soft it leaves my skin feeling. Most soaps from Lush don't have that luxurious, moisturized feeling like what you get from using a shower cream. Ghost in the Dark does that, and you don't need to use a whole lot. However, I do want to point out that it seems to get used up really quickly compared to the other Lush soaps. I've seen other people complain about this too, so I know it's not just from this one time where I needed to cover my whole body to see if I would glow. I'd show you it actually worked, but then this wouldn't be a PG video anymore. <laughs> And for those of you wondering, Ghost in the Dark contains luminescent zinc sulfide and that's what makes it glow in the dark. Yes, it's FDA approved, but if you're concerned about being super healthy or have sensitive skin, I would not be stocking up on this if I were you. And that is the Lush that I have for you for Halloween this year. Next week, I am going to be going over the spooky box from Bath Bevy. So we're not done with Halloween yet. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next week. And can you tell I am a mermaid? Well, that's what I was like supposed to be, a mermaid. I don't know. I've got the scales. I got the scales for it.